Welcome back to Fallout 4 with the Rude Man. In the last episode, we got a new headquarters for the police station. And uh, I came back to the old one to see if Simon was still here. And nobody's here. We got new people here I've never seen before. There's an old guy upstairs just having coffee. Well, he was having coffee. He must have finished. And then this gal down here at the desk. So I guess we'll go back to the new headquarters and see if they've moved in. Oh, and the rain has quit. Look, there's Officer Stompy and Officer Clompy. Got what was coming to you, I bet. Let me know if you find a lighter. Scum on the streets. You're looking for a new one. Are these not gunners? These are just raiders. Well, <laughs> they haven't cleaned it up. It's still a mess. And there's dead people laying everywhere. They left some caps laying around. Well, I, I guess... No, there's... There's Lena. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. You get, Scalped any rotten gunners lately? No. Uh, no, not yet. Um, things got messy, but no. Things got a little messy, but... Nope. Sorry. Oh, well. You know where I am if you get some. Anything else? Just wonder when you're going to clean this place up. Anything I can do to help out? Hey. We were talking about kicking the raiders out of the bureau and making it our new HQ. Uh, we haven't done that yet. Okay, so this didn't work again. Don't worry. I'll help you deal with these raiders. Great. I'd sure be glad to have you with us when we storm the place. I want to leave Simon and Jared out of this, but I can round up a few new recruits together for the attack. Yeah, stomping. I'll Trumpy, give you a rendezvous point close by. We'll meet up and finalize the plan before we go in. Okay, so... With surprise in your backing, we shouldn't have too much trouble clearing out those thugs. What do you say? Yeah, fine. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's go. So it didn't, so it didn't well, work. let's go take our new... So it didn't work. Doggone it. Well, I guess we'll just move on. I don't know what else to do. All right, I'll just uh, move on. Although I don't know where Simon's at now. Fugitive has been located. Commencing. Oh shoot! That guy's got a nuke right there. Oh no! get a headshot with his pistol. Oh god. Move along. Sorry guys, that was a mess. Alright, so I, I I don't know what to do now because uh, just I needed to talk to Simon but I don't know where he's at. So let's uh dump that one for now. Okay, I'm supposed to return to her and tell her that we've cleared it. And it checks off that we did that, so I don't know what to do. Uh, perhaps I haven't given her enough time, I don't know. Let's go see if we can hunt this grizzly guy down for, uh, what was that guy's name, Caleb? This is a bitch, ain't she? Alright, so we'll go. Is he talking about Lena being a bitch? Well, she kind of is, but you know, I'd be careful if I were you. Mm. 
new people just passing through. Nice hat you got. Lost track there. of how many blisters I got. See, what kind of hat is that you got on? It's like a homemade one. My back hurts. My feet hurt. Everything hurts. Sorry about that. So, um, these are supposed to be new settlers, huh? Okay, I'm just looking around to see if anything's changed. Um, I don't know if that gal got her printing press put together. Wasn't she in here? Well, she's still here, but she doesn't look like she's working on anything. All right, so we're gonna just look around, see what's changed since the last time we were here. Hadn't been that long ago, really. Um, I heard something about the uh, Fallon's department store in that this area of this department store is being used by two different mods. And the guy that's making this mod has made some changes to to help out any confusion. I think they're sharing the building somehow. No need others tell Carno pretty. Carno knows is pretty. No, I don't see anything different here. Supposedly there was a back door to this building and so they've switched and one mod uses Carnal one door. Carnal snores so loud, I think it's knocked over one or two of them. Yeah, I, I don't want to hear about Carnal snoring. Anyway, I don't have the other mod so I don't think it's going to affect me any. Wow, look at all the people moving in. If you work, you eat. It's as simple as that. The hell kind of hairdo is that? Wow. Need to get back to Diamond City one of these days. God, where'd all these people come from? Yes. <sighs> Hope you ain't one of them since here to spy on me. Oh, I am, and you better watch out. Oh my god. This guy's been cleaning house here. A little sleep. A little slumber. A little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall thy poverty come as one. Who's he preaching to? And they want is an armed man. I saw farms cleared up that uh, radiation I had. Caleb, we can get back to making the town defensible again. All right. Now we really are getting somewhere. I feel like we're getting very close to the bastard. Don't worry, Matty. You will be avenged soon. So the guy doing the bear impression is none other than Sean McDerry, a.k.a. Grizzly. Where they get their inspiration for the stupid bloody names, I have no idea. The exciting news is that Grizzly is Bombface's red right-hand man. By the way they run their security, I doubt he'll carry anything incriminating on his person. You will most likely have to interrogate him to extract anything useful. Do you have a set of pliers handy? <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. That's torture. It is, isn't it? Yep. Absolutely. I'm ready to go. Right. I'm uploading Grizzly's position to you now. Grab him and please ensure that you do whatever is required to find out where Bombface is. He will not evade us. Yeah, I have mixed feelings about this. <laughs> I don't think this is actual police business. That guy's supposed to be one of the cops, but it doesn't quite sound like police business to me. How far do we have to travel anyway? Let's see here. Oh boy. Oh, he's way down here. Oh, oh, he's way down here. All right, let's go to County Crossing. Still nothing new in this community. Um, they haven't invited me yet. Waiting for one of them to have a quest or something. But let's go see if we can find this grizzly feller.
Uh, it says I found him. Oh, and I'm supposed to fight him. Well, he doesn't like look like he's all that big. Are you grizzly? Hello. Hey. Hello. Why won't you talk to me? Well, I don't want to shoot somebody that's not shooting at me. Well, I shoot him in the toe. Or miss his toe. Hi. What's going on? Grill him. Okay. Hey. All right. Time out. Uh, you got me. What do you want? Who's your boss? No way, man. I can't tell you. He will know. You think you're in pain now? I can make you bleed. Make you beg me for death. Ooh. All right. All right. No one knows where he is. We all get messages sent to us. That's how he works. Bullshit. You're trying to play me for a fool. All right, all right. There's this guy in Concord. E Edmund? No, Edmund. Yeah, he knows everything. Okay. And he's got a note? Let's look at the note, I guess. Miscellaneous. Should be under G, Grizzly's notes. There it is. Grizz. He's set up in Concord as their pastor. It's the perfect place the way that damn vault, vault dweller and the Assam fella are taking control of the wealth economy. He says we have holes and then goes live amongst the enemy. Can you believe that? Make sure that Madison woman gets where she needs to go. We can't afford any more hiccups. May need you to take care of Knife Point as well. He just won't seem to listen. Lay low for a while. I'll send for you, bomb face. So the preacher's in on it. I told you there's something weird about that preacher. Father, I have sinned. Let's see if these guys got anything to say. Hopefully one of them will sooner or later have a problem. You guys got any hey there, problems? Friend. We're in some real trouble. Maybe you can help. Sure. Uh, be glad to help. I'd be glad to help if I can. It's these damn greenskins, the super mutants. Whenever they come through, we just have to run away or hide. They take everything they can eat and destroy most everything else. And if they ever took us by surprise, we'd all be dead. There's just two of you. can't live like this. Please, you gotta help us. All right. I'll take care of them. I'll take care of those super mutants. I promise. Good. I didn't know what we were gonna do. Medford Memorial Hospital. So they took over a hospital. Um, and where's this then? Okay. So it's not too far away. Let's head that way. I think this is the way. Uh, yeah, I tell you what, let's um, turn this and this out. Hunt for Grizzly. We already did that. I don't know, this is uh, getting pretty buggy.
mean, I just I just downloaded the latest bug fixes and and patch things yesterday, so I must have the latest one. But when I came into Concord, I couldn't get people to talk to me. I think that's part of this deal. And then I couldn't get that grizzly guy to talk to me till I shot him. Quiet out here. I want something to shoot. Oh, shoot. Trigger finger. Really? Hostile sensor reading. Oh, geez. Do I take the dog first? Or the nuke. come from oh they're all over the place hey there's a police department there I wonder if I'm supposed to check on that where's the guy that had the nuke there let's get that well no one can say you want thorough that guy had a board what would I do without a board Right, I, I guess I'm supposed to go in and clear it out. Oh, there's somebody. Who's there? Damn it. Oh, jeez. I didn't think about that. I hit the nuke. Thank God I wasn't close enough to get hurt. Gee whiz. That smell. Is that... There? It's it the insides of the... Your hair sizzling? That smell that you smell is... Uh, this bad guy here. That we just, it's his insides, actually. Look, they're all over the place. Gonna splatter your brain! Huh, found You get that open? Ah, come out, come out. Wherever you are, gone now. Pity. I'm hungry for human. Humans? Hmm. String Kit, get this for me. Only, but Got it. better than ramen or bugs. Anything's better than bugs. Not Almost tools. there. Ha! You're right, brother. Not ghouls. Boy. Yours. What am I 
was stuck on. I was stuck on something and it wasn't a band-aid. Meat bags. Ugh, yuck. I wonder if that, uh, those meat bags, I wonder if that's what Haggis is like. Standing, talking. Killed my Blood on my boots, blood on my pants, and blood on my. Uh, let's just keep moving. <laughs> I wonder what she's referring to. Blood on her boots, blood on her pants, blood on my. No fair! And then she won't say. I hear clip clopping. Gonna find you soon, human. Yeah, keep looking. Slippery humans. Don't think I can pick this. All right, I can't pick it. I doubt if she can. Locks really strong. Sure. Huh? Doesn't look too tough. Really? She's better than I am. All done. Did you get it? Oh my God, she got it. How'd she get better than me in that? Well, I'm gonna have her keep doing it so she can get better. Although I'm the one that needs to get better. Sure, I'll take a look. Almost there. Got it. It's down. What is it? In range. Ow. Okay, I, that was it. I can report. Oh! I can report back now. I, think I had a toaster on him. I broke a pick. I broke a nail. Yes. Where did you go? Huh? Gonna find you. Gonna kill you. Why was this locked? Just because of that guy? Oh, there's some money. I can smell you out there, little snake. Huh. You can smell me, huh? Guess I better use some deodorant. Okay, well, let's get out of here. We did what we needed to do. You're here! You're here! Stop hiding! Now, I always get confused. I call it county crossing. Is it county crossing or is it country crossing? It's county crossing. Hello, Lucy, I'm home. Hey, Mr. Settler, sir. Oh, he's got disease. Here, let me fix him up. Well, you're still alive. That either means you haven't gone after those super mutants yet, or 
Good news. Yeah, they're dead. Those super mutants won't be bothering you again. I guess you were the right person for the job, huh? Guess so. Thanks, friend. By the way, we've decided to support the Minutemen. We've got to help each other if we want things to get better. Right, it's me and you and that other guy, huh? All right, well, let's get started on this. We now have access to this uh, workstation, so we can put up a beacon, get some people here, hire a mayor, and all that kind of good stuff. All right, so let's just set up a beacon somewhere. I don't think it max matters where. We'll just put a beacon in here somewhere. First of all, let's... I can't remember where the beacon's at. There it is. Okay, we'll pop one. Uh-oh. Am I missing something? I'm missing stuff. Uh, I need uh, copper and ceramics. Oh, you know what? It's because I dumped all this stuff. I dumped everything I had when I in the last episode because I was carrying too much. So I can't do anything. I wonder if I can make a. Can I? Can I even make a? Um, well, let's see. If I can make a desk. I might have enough for that. Uh, let's put it in this building here. It, it'll be moved anyway because they put it where they want it. Okay, so let's grab... Where's that other guy? This guy. He's their only guy doing food? Well, there's only two of them. What's this guy do? He's unassigned. Let's assign him. Okay, so I'm going to grab him. And look, we're going to promote you to the mayor, buddy. Got it. Oh, I don't have any ASIMs either. I get, oh man, I got rid of everything. Oh, jeez. All right, I, I got to do something about that. Okay, well, we'll come back when we have some, I got to go back to town and uh, move everything. Dang it, I got rid of everything. Let me eat something here. Well, that wasn't an eat. That was, that was a stimulant. I wanted some food. Food. Fresh melon. Crispy squirrel bits. Mmm, good. All right, what's next on the agenda? Now that we've done that, we have the hunt for grizzly. I don't know what to do because we finished that, I thought. Unless I'm supposed to talk to... Uh, Maybe I'm supposed to talk to Caleb. All right, let's go back and see about that. What's this hostile takeover? Oh, never mind. That's a that's a Jake thing. We're gonna get to that. I promise. Let's um, head back to Concord and see what we got going with Caleb here. Wouldn't want to set up camp here. Why not? It's a good place to camp. Won't be long, Maddie. Excuse me. Hello, Caleb. What in the world is going on that nobody will talk to me? He says, "Excuse me," and then that now I can't say anything. Excuse anything. me, Caleb. Hello. 
What in the world? I don't know what the heck's going on. Something's not working quite right. Okay, so see these uh, lamps on buildings. That's I think that means that these are that these are where uh, townspeople are living or something. Let's go chat with this preacher. For houses to fall, for relationships to run dry, is a little bit of neglect. All is as it should be. Jake has returned safe, so fret no more. The Lord has made plans for us all, and those who would disrupt have little power against him. I saw a farmstead overgrown with rot. The crop was gone, not because ah, it was geez, never planted, to listen to this but first. because it was never tended, because the fence was never mended, and so beasts of nature took the crop for themselves, because the weeds were never plucked, and outgrew the crop which withered and fell to decay. I asked the farmer why his field was in such a state, and he told me that he hadn't really paid it any mind. It was, after all, hard to see the yard from his bedside. <laughs> Even here, sloth is abundant. There is work to be done in this town if it is to be the shining light our father wishes for. What's she doing? And don't be slothful with your holy soul. Purge the weeds of sin from your garden and repair the damage of slothful inactivity. I will humbly assist with the gardening of your soul by hearing your confessions for the next little while. Hey there. Ah, hello, child. You seem troubled. Are you here for advice? Or perhaps a confessional? I am always open to listen, and I promise no other soul shall hear what you tell me in confidence. What? Uh... I need to ask you a question. I need to ask you something. Of course. I am, as always, a humble servant to the people. Please, tell me, what troubles you? I have something for you. Oh, you were looking for someone. Tell me of them. Perhaps I can offer some guidance in this. Ah, I see. I'm afraid I can't help you. You're after the wrong person. What? I need your help. <sighs> Very well, then. Perhaps it is for the best. Caleb sent you after Bombface about his wife, but Caleb is the true danger here. Caleb's wife, Madison, came to me fearing for her life. I'm sure by now you at least have some idea of what Caleb is doing. I will not pass judgment on the man. His work is good, if a bit extreme. She feared that one day he may turn on her and sought my aid. I hid her away, hoping that perhaps time would present an opportunity. Fearing her husband's ire, I opted to hide her away where Caleb would not look for her. Clearly that didn't work. Okay. Then where is she? I thought she was dead. Where is she? She's hidden away. And I think given what I've just revealed to you, you'll understand why that's for the best. Why don't we let our two problems sort each other out? Well, that's I'll no mark way. Bombface's location for you. Go tell Caleb where he is, and let him continue to believe Maddie is deceased. Whatever you do, leave my name out of the conversation, for my own sake, as well as Madison. It would be a shame if one of Caleb's enemies were to learn of her location. Okay, I'm really confused. Is this guy a good guy or a bad guy? I don't know. What are you doing? I don't know whether to trust this guy. Is he really a preacher that's working behind the scenes for stuff, or what's going on? I don't know who to trust. I mean, Caleb's kind of, he's kind of scary, kind of a butthead. So who do you believe, eh? Let's see if he'll talk to me now, though. He wouldn't talk to me before. Back. Okay. What did you find out? Well, okay, let's think about this. I don't know anything about his wife, that preacher, or what's happening between he and his wife. But I do know that he wanted me to find Bombface. So... Maybe I found out something. Amazing. You managed to get it out of him. Bravo. 
It would be impolite of me to ask how you extracted the location out of the poor fellow. Give me a couple of hours to prepare, and then come back. And we will go and put an end to Bombface. Okay, so... I don't know if that's what I should have done, but the thing is... I gave him what he wanted. I don't know about the rest of it. But I do know, from what we've found out so far, that this Bombface is evil. And needs to be taken care of. Um, I mean, there's people that are scared to death of this guy. Even one of his own people, if you remember how this started, when we found the two cops with that gal on her knees and she was uh, one of Bombface's cohorts and how she said they were even all afraid of him because they didn't want to be sliced up uh, by this guy because I guess he's crazy. Anyway, um, I'm going to end it here and we'll carry on with this when we come back. Hope to see you then. Ta-ta for now.